Hey you guys, it's your girl T. So I want to come on here and talk about the whole Black Lives Matter situation. Honey, when I tell you Black Lives Matter is breaking up before my very eyes, they are beefing on social media, honey. Now if you thought the beef between Umar Johnson and Boyce Watkins was bad, go ahead and check out what's going on with the Black Lives Matter people. Make sure you guys grab your tea cups because this tea is piping hot. How you doing? So what went down this weekend is that basically Sean King, the real, real light-skinned man who looks white but says that he's black, um, yeah, he decided to be messy on Twitter and basically say that D. Ray McKesson, who is a known Black Lives Matter activist, is beefing with Netta. And Netta is a known Black Lives activist in Ferguson, Missouri. And it's so funny that these people literally came off of Michael Brown's death. This is how these people became known. They were put out there into the spotlight. They're like the, the three faces of Black Lives Matter. They even have verified check marks and everything else, okay? So Sean decides to be messy, he sends out this tweet, and when I tell you Netta's ass came for him, honey, she drug his ass up and down Twitter, then D-Ray jumped in. D-Ray wasn't as messy, but he kind of put Sean King in his place, okay? And then soon, a lot of people from Black Lives Matter and Black Twitter decided to drag Sean King as well. So go ahead and grab your teacups and check out what everybody had to say about Sean King on social media. How you doing? So you guys just checked out the comments, the tweets, and what folks have to say about Sean King and the entire situation. You know, this whole situation is nuts. You know, I don't feel bad for any of these people. It's sad. For months, Sean has been accused of stealing money from this whole justice campaign that they were starting. People have questioned him about the dollars. See, what I find that kind of annoys me with some of us as a people is that anytime you want to hold somebody to task, anytime you want to question somebody about their motives, you're caught a hater, you're jealous, you're just trying to start stuff. You know, when people were questioning Sean King about the money that was donated to Tamir Rice, to all types of like little foundations and things that people were donating to Black Lives Matter. When people were questioning that, you know, Sean King would just go on these long rants. He would, you know, dance around the questions. He would never really fully answer them in its entirety. He would never show anybody, you know, a copy of the books, what he was doing with the money, any accountability. If anybody asked him for accountability, it was always this run around answer, you know? So it's just made a lot of people give him the side eye. And then when everything came out about his race, you know, I had did the video about it, about how, you know, he had to come out and admit that 
he's only a small percentage black. That the person who got his mother pregnant, you know what I'm saying, had some black in them, but he was raised with a white father. You know, Sean King only has a little bit of black in him, but he's acting like he's, you know, Kunta Kente black, you know what I mean? And he's the face of Black Lives Matter. So I find that whole situation crazy. And when I brought that up, you know, a few people, you know, were in their feelings like, you have no right to question it. He's black. It's just funny. I feel like a lot of us are looking for a leader. And I don't care if it's Umar Johnson, Boyce Watkins, Sean King. Too many people are out here looking for leaders or looking for people to lead them as opposed to being their own leaders, as opposed to coming up and doing things for themselves and trying to help their own communities. You know, you got folks who want to fly to Ferguson for the death of one person, but you got killings right outside in your back door. You have people dying up the street from you and drive-bys and, you know, gang violence and everything else in the city where you're in. And instead of starting your own little chapter and trying to get people together in your own city, you want to fly here and you want to fly there. You know, I just feel like at the end of the day, the reason why we always end up in these situations where you have a bunch of black so-called leaders they're not my leaders i don't look to no man to lead me honey you know a bunch of black leaders that y'all may claim as leaders i don't claim none of these people as leaders and i feel like you know when people make mistakes people act like they're because they're up here and because they give speeches and because they're seen on television or because they're seen in the lecturing circuits because they're seen all over the lecturing circuit, they're beyond reproach. And I just think that that's ridiculous. Nobody is beyond reproach. You know what I'm saying? Not myself, not anybody. You know, and if people are asking questions about certain things, you have to divulge that information. And when people are asking questions, especially when it comes to money, and you're giving roundabout answers, you don't want to divulge information, you're becoming defensive, then that makes me give you the side eye. You know, and I feel like this is why so many people are going at Sean King so hard, because there's been a lot of money in question that he cannot account for. And we all know that the Black Lives Matter is funded by George Soros. You know, so for all we know, it could be people, you know, on either side creating this division. Just like with the Black Panthers, how the FBI was mailing, you know, letters to, you know, different Black Panther headquarters to get them to beef with each other. You know, and it's really sad they would take this to social media as opposed to calling each other and trying to figure it out. It's sad that Sean King's first response to any time that somebody questions him about anything is to instantly block them. Anybody who's quick to just block somebody right off the back when it comes to them questioning them about money or their integrity, to me, that makes me give them the side eye as well. So this whole situation is a hot damn mess, honey. I don't know how it's going to play out, but like I said, I don't follow any of these people to each its own. You know, everybody's looking for that one savior, that one person they can look up to. How about you look to yourself? How about you look at the God within you and you make something of yourself and stop looking for other people to lead you? That's my suggestion, but what do I know? I'm just a YouTuber. So anyways, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. How do you guys feel about the whole situation that went down with Black Lives Matter? How do you feel about them beefing? and going back and forth. How do you feel about Sean King in general being messy and trying to start stuff between D-Ray and Netta? So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right, deuces. Hey, you guys, it's your girl T. Make sure to subscribe, like, and share my videos. You can also visit lovelytea.com to purchase any merchandise. Also, don't forget to click the boxes down below to watch any of my previous videos. Talk to y'all later. Deuces.